Hello, welcome to the network learning networks. Okay, so before we start network or networking, which is a major concept, so we have to know what is networking. So I have a description here which is described. So, what is networking? So, networking is interconnecting two or more computers to access the files or the directories okay so how would be it connected so if you just see here I have two computers which is being connected through a wire and it can be connected through a wire as well as wireless okay so what does it require for you to keep connected with wired and what does it require for you to keep connected with wireless okay so wireless requires a wireless network card for your PC and for a wired it requires a network card which is inbuilt in your PC so if you're connecting through wired so you can see here it connects through a wire which goes to one of the networking device which we call it as switch and here if you see you have an antenna here which is sending the signals through wirelessly the radio signals so these are the two types of networks which can be done so you may ask me a question how does it done how, how is it being done so the cabling technology we connect two wires to the computers so if it is a wired so let's check out how do we do it through a wire so I have a computer which has been defined here computer A and computer B so if these two computers if they need to communicate okay so they should have a connection in between them okay to get it connected so how do we have a connection so what we'll do is so we'll connect these two computers with the help of a wire let's just connect it through a, a wire so now these the computer A and computer B is being connected through a wire okay so we have different topologies which we can speak on networking but presently we are not interested in it so we'll speak only about the basic connecting and how does it happen okay so if two computers are connected okay uh, through a wire so it should talk talk means to say that so computer A should communicate with computer B and computer B should communicate with computer A so how does the communication happen so we have connected we are connected a wire to A and B and the communication should happen okay so before the communication can happen it should have a device to which this particular wire goes to so let's make a note of that here so that particular device is called as NIC card that's called as network interface card okay so it will have a network interface card in both the computers so we'll just make a network interface card here by just writing it okay so we have two network interface cards which has been connected okay here uh, it has been connected the wire has been connected okay what does the jack does it connect to okay so the particular jack to which the network interface card connects through a wire is called as RJ45 it's called as registered jack 45 okay so now it's connected through a network interface card 
and a pointing cable okay we use many different type of cabling technology okay we use so let me just name some of them so we use cat phi cable or we also use optical fiber technology wires these are the wires through which we can connect and we use a jack called as RJ45 register jack okay once we connect it and then we should make these particular computers to talk so to talk we should have a way it should talk okay so to the way it should talk okay it should have an identification like for example it should have a name the computer A should have a name the computer B should have a name okay so how is the name being defined it is an unique identity for computer A and computer B okay which is being identified through your network interface card okay so let's just put that information also here so it's network interface card and I see will have Mac address so the network interface card will have a naming section which is an unique identity in the world so the network interface card will have a MAC address which is a unique identity in the whole world okay so that is called as MAC address so we call it as MAC address it's it's an unique identity okay so now we have named it also okay so to communicate in between A and B okay we should have something called as an oh, what do you call uh, rules has to be set up so what is that rules so the rules are called as protocol we call them as protocol so as the normal English term also defines protocols protocol means it's a set of rules so so we have set of rules which is laid on network okay so till now we'll just stop this video okay so that we have learnt and we'll continue in the next session